If you guys want to learn how to make a Kofi GUI in Roblox Studio, then watch this video all the way to the end. Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a Kofi GUI in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the scripts are in the description and let's get started. So to start off, we're going to need to detect whenever a player is killed. So to do that, I'm just going to get my kill players for cash system. Which I made, it should be here somewhere. There we go. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to get the script from service script service. And put it into it. And then we can delete that. So now we've got the script here, but instead of giving the player cash, now we need to insert a remote event into replicator storage. And we'll name this to kill feed GUI remote event. So game dot replicator storage dot kill feed UI remote event fire all clients, the killer and the player name. Uh no no, no. play. Play, 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 play. Cool. Now we have to actually design the GUI. So instead of screen GUI and set reset on spawn to false. And we rename this to kill feed GUI. Then insert a frame. And you can put the kill feed wherever you like. I'm just going to put mine down the corner here. And then we'll set this to 0.5 and make it black. Okay, that looks pretty good. Then insert a text label and scale it to the size. This is going to be the template. So this is what it's going to look like. You can design it now. So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to make it red just for that nice effect. Let me just see how it will look like. Player one killed player two. Okay, that looks good. Let's just scale this in a bit. Okay, yeah, cool. Insert a folder. And drag text label in there. Set visible to false. And we'll rename this to template. Template. There we go. Cool. So now we're going to insert a local script. And we're going to rename this to kill feed GUI. Oh, kill feed UI. So now we need to receive that remote event. So the script will also be in the description. So game replicated storage dot kill feed. GUI remote event dot on client event connect function and we sent through the killer and the player. So local text label to produce script dot parent dot template dot text label clone. So text label dot text we equal to so the killer dot name. Uh, let me just double check and I'll also just rename this to kill feed. GUI script. No, no, this one will just be kill feed script. Okay, so the player killer. Okay, yeah. So killer dot name dot dot. So the killer killed space dot dot player dot name. And then text label dot visible is true. And text label dot parent is equal to script dot parent. So I actually forgot something. We need to insert a UI grid layout. Now let's see how this looks. Put that there, visible true. I'm gonna change the size of this. Okay, that's incorrect. Okay, there we go. I just need to see how wide this is. Oh. Okay, we're gonna make it an even size 500. So then in here, set that to 500. And then change this to 50. Okay, that looks pretty good. You can put that there. Visible false. Okay, and then we can enable false. And then insert a local script. And we'll just say script.parent.enabled is true. Just so that we don't need the GUI enabled like when we're uh, busy working on our map. So now I'm just going to quickly get a sword so we can actually test this. Then click yes. And whenever you have a weapon that will damage a player, make sure it damages with a script and not a local script. 
so the sword here damages there damages with a script so make sure it damages with a script or else it will not work okay so let's quickly go test this into a multiplayer server okay so we're in a multiplayer server let's kill player one you'll see player two killed player one and we can do it again and you'll see it works but it does not disappear so let's quickly go and add that because i actually forgot it okay so in the local script we're gonna say text label or no task dot weights then this is how long you uh can display the gui for i'll do three seconds then text label destroy we're gonna put all of this into a cartoon wrap just because if um a say like this gets fired like two times in a row like two people killed each other at the same time it will just do this and like this this will happen because normally if this was outside of coaching wrap then it would run this uh, like twice which wouldn't work because it uses toss.wait so it actually wouldn't work so yeah let's actually just change that i think to spawn function instead of coaching wrap wait okay that should work okay let's quickly see what it looks like okay so here we are now if we kill player one you'll see it works it will go away after three seconds and then it will work straight away again so yeah that's it for today's video bye guys